everyone, this is Melissa Arnold with Stock Swoosh and I wanted to review the QQQs here today. And the reason is because we have really nothing going on this week at all until Friday. And then on Friday, on Friday it's going to be a big day I think for the market. It's almost as if the market has been waiting to make a jimongous move higher for this whole entire two week period. It's, it's, it's hard to believe. I mean let's just count the days. Eight, five. So the market gap tap here on August 5th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Tomorrow will be 15. So it'll be three weeks, three weeks plus that the market's been waiting to make a move higher. Tried to do it here, didn't follow through. Tried to do it here, didn't follow through. Tried to do it yesterday, couldn't follow through, but we're not breaking, we're not dropping, we're not falling. So let's go all the way back to the beginning of time or as far as we can go. And the reason I'm looking at this chart is because this chart has not made a brand new all-time high yet. The SPY did. This did not. Here's where we are. 117.50. Here we are. This is crazy, but look at us. There's where we are. We're, we're, it looks, it's too close not to happen, people. I've been saying it all along, but here we finally are. 120.50. Wonder if we could make a move like that in one day. Sure, we could. We could do it. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock is the report, or she's going to talk, and that's two and a half dollars over the high. But see, we could, I don't know if we'd, if we'd gap up and, or we just do it on the live day because it's 10 o'clock. I, I don't know how this is going to ha all happen here. I don't know how this is going to happen, but I think I'm, I'm making a prediction. <laughs> the prediction is that Friday, we will finally on Friday in this exchange, we've done it in the SPY already, hit up over the high. It's, 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 I believe that Friday is the day. So we're $3 away from there right now, the second today. We were up at 118 the other day, yesterday. So we're so close. We're too close not to do it, and we're not going to break. And we're waiting so long. No pullback. The market has literally rallied for weeks with no pullback that anyone could have tried to go long. You had to go long on a red day, or you just went long on a green day. And if you did, you're up. You could have gone long any day in here just buying the rally and you would be up. That's crazy. That's really ridiculous. It's it's like buying something and it going up without even waiting for it to pull back, which is not how normal traders trade. People used to trade like that or so they say, this is before my time, back in the 90s when stocks were just rallying. It was the tech age, the tech boom. I never traded then. What a funny time to be in. You could have bought the market any time in here and just bought it in the sky not even thinking of a price you were buying it, just knowing it was higher and you'd be up. That's crazy. It's very unusual. Very unusual and strange and traders don't know what to do with this. But I believe that Friday we make a brand new all-time highs over 120.50. On the live day, I don't think we do it in the gap in the morning. I think we could do it on the live day. And if that happens, the market will power trend on Friday up. And I don't know, maybe we'll end up going long. But if you are in any of these options, to the upside, any of the calls that I made, if you're still holding on to them, Friday may be the day to exit. Friday may be the day to exit. And I don't know if Baba's going to hit over 100 on that day. It's, it's less than $5 away from here. That's not that big of a move for the stock to make in one day or two days or three days. But I think this will make the move better in a gap. And I don't know if this gaps up on, sun, on Monday morning or Friday morning, but it could. It could. It might. It might. So I don't know. I don't know, but I think Friday is going to be a very bullish day to close out the week in the market. And actually, is that the last day in the month? Holy crap, is it? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Let me just look here. It's the 26th. No, it's not the last day in the month. Yeah, I think we do it Friday. So I guess we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. It's it could be a day to exit all the calls that you're in if you're short with timing, or if you just want to get out with a positive day with volatility. Because I think it's going to be Friday if you're in something long to take profits, and you'd almost have to beat your desk all day till four o'clock. Because I think the market could run all day. Because I it may not start till the morning and then just take its time and through the through the announcement. So it could be whippy. It could be volatile. It could it could could be. It could be, but I think the move happens Friday. And if it doesn't, it starts the move Friday and follows through next week. 
So I don't know how this all transpires, but it could happen in one solid day on Friday, bullish power trend all day and make a $2 plus move or start the move Friday, gap up over the high on Monday morning. Start the move Friday, but we're not pulling back. So this is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh. Email me at melissathestockswoosh.com if you have any questions or if you're interested in the Golden Gap course.